Okay, today we are going to talk about how to balance the camera on the motor head. And once you get your camera mounted, uh, it may or may not seem like it's balanced. It probably is not. The most important thing to do first is to connect all the cables that you're going to run to the camera so that the camera is properly weighted for the way it's going to be when you start shooting. So for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to hook up a couple of video cables uh, to this camera. And normally the motor head would be locked in so that you cannot move the camera. But if you use a stubby Phillips screwdriver or on the newer motor heads, uh, there are wing nuts that you can loosen to disengage the brass gear from the larger gear so that the camera can swing freely on the tilt axis. And what we ultimately want to do is find the center of gravity for the camera so that in the, in the tilt axis, the motor basically doesn't even know there's any weight there or there's any shift in weight there. So what we're trying to accomplish is to get the camera in the complete center of gravity on the two axis of the tilt here by raising the platform and by sliding the camera back and forth. So in order to do that, um, and by the way, doing that will give you very smooth tilts and will allow you to use heavier cameras than you would normally be able to use. So the first thing we're gonna do is just loosen the camera. You can see that we can slide it backward and forth on the camera platform. And if you get it about centered, then the camera will uh, sit about right. This isn't as critical at this point until we start elevating it. So I'm gonna tighten it. The camera's, most guys would say, okay, the camera's balanced, but it's still not balanced at this point. So what you want to do is loosen the elevator levers and then you can actually lift the camera up and get it to a point where you think it might be at the right spot. And now you can see we thought we were level before, but now that we've raised it, we've got to actually move the camera forward. to get balance again. And we're about there. Now here's the key. If you're able to turn the camera and point it in any attitude and it stay there, then it means it's balanced. See, it's still not balanced. It's still bottom heavy because the camera is still swinging forward. Our goal is to, here is to be able to point the camera at any attitude and it just stay there. So I'm gonna raise the platform a little bit more here. I think we're just about there. And now you can see that it's the camera's actually turning slower. Now it's a little bit front heavy. So we're gonna loosen the hold down bolt and Tighten it. And our camera's still um, acting like that it's bottom heavy. So again, I'm gonna loosen the elevators. Raise it. Tighten them. And now it's falling forward like it's top heavy. So I've gone a little bit too far. So I'm gonna lower it slightly. Still feels front heavy, but I'm going to actually move the camera back a little bit and see if this will compensate for it. Now we're a little bit back heavy. We're right in that sweet spot there, so we know we're getting close. Now the camera's just falling back slightly. And again, we might be a little bit high on the elevation now, so I'm gonna drop the camera slightly. And 
now. Now you can see the camera is allowing itself to be pointed in an up attitude. It's still wanting to tilt back slightly, but we're almost there. It's just a hair off. I'm going to slide the camera forward slightly. And it is like right there. Now we can point it down. We can point it straight up and it stays so at this point and this one has a battery box on it that won't let it tilt all the way down but that's just this particular camera but you can see now that other than the cable pulling it slightly um, yeah, it might be a little bit back but we're just about there. I'm going to <laughs> move it forward. And you can see how critical this is. You just move it barely. So this would be considered now a balanced camera. We can point it straight, we can point it up, it stays, we can point it down, it stays, and so that means once we go over here to re-engage the motor to the main gear, lock it in, and And for the demonstration here, I also loosened the pan, but you wouldn't normally have to do that. I did that so I could turn the camera so you could see it properly. But now we have a balanced camera. This is more critical for larger cameras than it is for smaller, for obvious reasons. But you still want to balance your smaller cameras too. The symptoms that you'll get if your camera is not properly balanced is your camera will drift. You'll think that you left it here and then you come back in an hour and it's drifted back this way or it's drifted this way. Or the other symptom that you'll get is during the, the tilting motion, you'll feel like the camera goes faster in, in a certain point of the arc than the other parts. And that's because of the drag on the motor from the camera not being in balance. So with this now balanced, we'll get a really nice uh, tilt action. Okay, that's it, and thanks for watching.